One UI 8, Android 16, the test version ZYF7, guys. So, just some context before I start the video. Samsung released two official One UI 8 betas, beta 1 and beta 2. Beta 2 firmware is ZYF3. So after this, we had ZYF5, which I showed last week, I believe, with adding predictive back gestures now inside the lab setting. And now, guys, we have another version, but this is not official, it's a test firmware. The version here is ZYF7, and thanks to uh, the hard work at the XDA forum, a lot of guys there were saying that this thing is very good. A lot of the previous bugs apparently have been fixed. So I wanted to see what are new things, how good this thing works, and yeah, because it's still a new firmware, there are some new things. I'm gonna start straight away with them. So guys, let me show you something important. This is my S25 Ultra, you can see some of my picks for, I do believe this is the Vivo S100 Ultra. Notice this peak in the sky here. Okay, now the colors are muted, but the moment I open the picture, boom, you can see the phone is gonna pump up the HDR. So, you know, this is something really from S24, I believe. You can now see the pictures inside the Samsung Gallery with HDR. Now notice the sky again. If I exit back here, it's going to be more muted. When I open this picture, boom, you know, all the highlights here are going to get pumped and we get this kind of like HDR effect. And apparently, in this ZYF7 version, Samsung implemented HDR screenshots. And this is what I wanna test right now with you. So I'm gonna take a screenshot, okay? And you see the moment I take the screenshot, this thing is muted again. Now I'm gonna open the screenshot. Yeah, this is indeed a screenshot, by the way. You can see, now this is true. So I do have now HDR screenshots. And I'm not sure if um, other vendors will implement this with Android 16, but hey, HDR screenshots, why not, right? Something else I wanted to test, here are my Buds 3 Pro. I'm gonna open them. There were some bugs with Galaxy Wear. Okay, now when I open them, I can see this nice and fancy animation. I don't think that's new. This has been there since like forever. But it seems that right now Samsung Wearable is updated. So I had to update it before I launch it. So right now, this is the version that I have. Which is the version here? Let's go and check. How do we do this, guys? I can click here, go to App Info, and check the version is 2.215 and then you can see 451 at the end. And it seems that right now, this Samsung wearable application is working not a problem at all. So I have connected it to my Samsung Watch Ultra. If I click here, I can go and also connect it to my Bus 3 Pro, all right? And I can change all the settings. I can see everything here, you know, the left, right, and the percentages. So right now, this also seems to be quite good. Let's check some of the widgets, guys. So we have, of course, the One UI 8 weather, which is fantastic. and I've did a video about this, pretty nice and slick animation and yeah, it just looks cool. This here are most of the battery widgets. So the phone percentage is here. My Watch Ultra is almost dying with only 5% of a battery. My Buds Pro, then we have this kind of with a bar display. 61% as we're talking, then the Watch Ultra, the Buds 3 Pro, and there is of course something else, like probably the Galaxy Ring if I would have it, but I'm using the Ultra Human Air Ring, and down below another view. Now all these widgets are very nicely aligned, and they're quite okay. I think that you can also try to edit the size if you want, like this and this, and this is gonna work. Guys, besides the HDR screenshots, let's just try to see in general how this new ZYF7 build works. So I'm just gonna share like, this is my phone, my real phone with a lot of my notifications, right? So everything pretty neat. I can try to clear everything. And I'm also trying to clear all my open apps, all right? All my open apps cleared. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try to open something here. Right, and you can see, I mean, Samsung are really getting better and better with this. And it's even better to show it like this. All right, you can see, I can now just multi-open apps. And honestly, guys, this is good. And this surprised me because Samsung had some issues in the past with this. And with One UI 6.1.1, I do believe it was introduced for the Z series, like the Z Flip and Falls, it went okay. One UI 7 refined even further. And with One UI 8, I really hope that we can finally get like a full implementation of non-linear animations and you can really stop them everywhere and every time you want I can just see I can just try to keep this up uh, running all right so I'm just now multi-opening some of the apps so it's really impressive what they're doing and it's impressive in a Samsung context because a lot of the other vendors are already there guys but nevertheless Samsung is here and we can confirm that the animations really are so nice and so cool. I can probably just also show you how this works if I just take the X up and open it. We also know that the animations here are a bit quicker compared to One UI 7. All right, we have this zoom in and out effect. 
We have this very nice zoom in and out effect, sadly no blur when you do perform this, right? But this is what happens, okay, with the blur. Like if you wanna get down to your quick settings, you're gonna get this blur. This will also happen when you try to drop the notification shade. Maybe they can add something with blur here when you open uh, one up, like to just get a blur around the wallpaper. Why not? This is, I think, something quite good. Honestly, guys, this thing here works quite nice. Something important in regards to certification, a lot of the people are saying that their phones are certified, and if your phone has been certified and you just install a test firmware, it might work like this, but then in the next few days, you might have a problem uh, and not be able to access your cards and pay you know, with them. The other option where you can check this is just go inside the settings here from the Play Store, scroll to About, and then you can see here, Play Protect certification, so a device is certified. Now the thing is, if you try to clear the storage and the cache, maybe then you're gonna get a problem, or let's say in a few days when the system kind of just understand what it is, and maybe Google is doing some checks, then you might eventually end up being not certified. At the moment, guys, I am certified. You can also try to go and update to the latest Play Store. And by the way, guys, just a pro tip, like what I'm doing is, I just go inside Google, all right? So just go inside uh, Google or Chrome, and just put Google Play Update. And this is gonna give you the direct link to the Google Play services from which you can update directly the Google Play services from the Play Store. I'm also, guys, a beta tester, so just making sure that I'm able to get all the latest, you know, better versions, so you can directly do this if you wanna so. Now, something that is important with this update, and we're gonna check this now in the security options. I'm gonna scroll down and enter security and privacy, and I'm gonna click the updates. The security update is from the 1st of June and the Google Play system update is from the May. So now I'm gonna check and see if there are any others. Yeah, restart to update, so okay. Now let me reboot the phone and see if I'm gonna get a more recent version here. The phone has been freshly restarted. Still security update from 1st of June and the Google Play system update is from the 1st of May. I'm just gonna do another check just in case. All right, this is it, guys. So what else, guys? Now. Probably not a lot of things that we can just see and feel directly, uh, but I really hope that they're doing under the hood changes to kind of prepare for the One UI 8 first stable. Also, I'm not sure when this is gonna come because we only have like two officials beta. Maybe they will release another official beta and maybe then another one and then the stable. But right now, guys, this is not a bad firmware for a daily driver, provided that you are happy with some of the shortcomings because for sure there's gonna be some. So if you want to retest it out, I'm going to put a link down below to the XT thread where you can download this. I installed this also very easily with using a root activity launcher. I did a video about this. Okay, we, inside the battery, we have the basic protection with Maxim, with the adaptive. Now, not a lot of things has been changed. And also something that I wanted to show you, but this came from the previous ZYF5. If you now, guys, go inside the lab section, you're going to have this option to activate uh, the back swipe preview. And this is cool because it will give you this, it, it's exactly what it says, guys. So let's say I go inside a display. If I wanna go back, I can immediately see, you know, what follows next. And yeah, this is this is kind of cool. Again, this is not new in the world of Android, but it's new on a system-wide level implemented on One UI because we had that before via the developer's options. Now guys, something that is worth checking, and I saw this again on the XDA forum in the thread, inside the display, somebody on the XDA forum said that the GPU drive has been updated here. We have 050225. I'm not sure, I should, this should be kind of the month, so May, 2nd of May. 2025, this is the OpenGL ES version, and they said that the previous Z1 F5 had an older version, but I cannot confirm this because I don't have a phone with the ZY F5. Something else that I wanted to check is just let's try to run a standard Geekbench 6 and see what we're gonna get. By the way, it's very hot right now, it's like 28 inside, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the best results, uh, but I'm gonna show you what I'm getting with the ZY F7, and then I'm gonna show some of the previous results with the phone. Let's see. Single core score is not that high. I've had a lot of results with more than 3,000, so 2,547 for the single core score and 9,394 for the multi-core score. And as I promised you guys, I'm gonna show you the history, so more than 3,000, more than 3,000, more than 3,100 here. And the very first result, guys, this was on January 29 when I bought the phone, 3,118, almost here 9,900. But guys, overall, this feel quite nice. Here, this is the now bar. I do believe that they kind of also fixed the now bar 
display on the lock screen. All right, this is pretty much where you can get it you know, in case it works. So by the way, I'm also using some nice tricks from Goodlock and all these icons kind of work, right? See, I enter now the settings, I can go inside the connections, can just go back. So this is ZYF5. Uh, let's just check the camera version, by the way. Let me just put the camera. All right, is there anything new here, guys? All right, uh, let's see. Application info, camera 16.00.031. And also something that I think it's worth checking when I go inside the Samsung store, there is a new version of good luck where they improve the visibility of new posts for better readability the thing with good luck is that our most beloved good luck modules like home up are still ported for android 16 meaning that it's not going to work for one year eight okay how do we know this because if i open good luck all right and i want to open something like home up it's simply not going to work and i can show you i'm going to go inside good luck nice animation booting up all right, and then guys, the moment I start home up, you can see the up version is not compatible with the new operating system. But everything else seems to be quite stable. Uh, occasional drops here and there. Again, like typical Samsung. Uh, it's also gonna be interesting to see if this is gonna happen. Mm, and the landscape mode. All right, yeah, okay, very stuttery. Oh my God. I don't know why they're not fixing this. This is just, it's not good, guys. All right, not that I'm using this, but you know, the moment we're here, we're back to like the smooth thing. And when we try to do this animation for the first time, it's a bit weird. So, some new things, uh, HDR screenshots. Hello to the HDR screenshots. Uh, let me just go and check again the screenshots. Yeah, okay, so see, a bit dull. Uh, yeah, now we get the sky pumped a bit here as well. Boom, all right. So that's the thing, one of the new things. And then again, guys, and it's now certified, but who knows if it's gonna be certified after two days. Long story short, apparently a lot of the bugs have been fixed. Widget now works, Samsung wearable also should be working. All right, you can see nice and fancy animation. And let's hope that we either are gonna get a new better official beta tree or directly the stable very soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're curious to we'll find out uh, what was included in the previous version, like the ZYF5 and in the official beta 2 ZYF3, you're more than happy to check my past videos. Stay safe, VST over, and bye. Thank you.